Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on this channel is share tree climbing techniques with beginners and experts. Today, what I have planned is to work on a Cornell hitch. It's one that I've been um, practicing for a little bit. And I just want to show you what I find with it. I want to do it with a couple of different cords. I'm going to do it with a 24 inch um, splice die pressic and a 30 inch splice die pressic. Um, I'm going to use less wraps with a shorter cord and more wraps with a longer cord. All right, let's get to it. So here I have a 30 inch cord. And with this cord, what I'll do is I'm going to tie it from the top and going upward. What I want to do is I'll get on me. I kind of measured it out for me and I'll go from my pinky to my thumb. That's going to be my starting point. And I'm going to put my hitch cord on this side of my rope and then I'll go upward for wraps. So here goes one. Two, three, and here comes a fourth. Now, with the top one, I'm going to come down, I'm going to go behind the climbing line, and I'm going to pull this. There's like a cross here. I'll pull the cross out, and then I'm going to feed the cross right back through here, and now I'm going to pull it. Now, I want to get that situated. I'm going to manipulate the 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 wraps make sure they feel snug and i want my legs to be equal so i got my equal legs now i'm going to get my carabiner and my pulley i'm just using a micro pulley you can use any really type of uh, pulley you want hitch climber or even the single or the double beckett ones it'll work all right okay now i'm going to grab my line okay i'm going to put it on and Snug it up and see if it can do like a on rope rest. So you put it here, put it up here. All right, snug it up. See if it holds me. All right, put my gloves on and see if it'll hold me up real quick. Like for me, I've always mentioned that I really like the lower of the shorter cords, but. I want to show what a long cord can do. Okay, so yeah, it's holding. Now that I have the 30 inch cord tied with the Cornell hitch, I'm going to proceed up the tree and see how it, how it goes. So it's, it feels a little bit tight as I'm pulling it. But wait till I get inside the tree and we'll see what it feels like. Okay, I'll get it up. It's holding, so that's a good sign. Yeah, pretty nice. It was. Um, a little bit tight, but inside the tree, and if I step, it feels really smooth. And it's locking really well. Now that I'm in the canopy, I'm going to go out and walk on a couple of branches just to get the feel of how this 30-inch cord works. Um, so here I go. So far, um, it's really moving pretty nice. As I touch it, just two fingers, and, and it moves really well, and it's gripping when I let go. That's actually pretty nice. As I'm ascending in, it's really free moving. Push my weight back on it. It locks into place. I wanted to mention having this like, micro pulley here. It's a nice situation because I could hold a branch 
and tend my line when I want to walk fast. So what I want to do is just walk over here a little, see how it feels. It still locks, I grip it. I mean, I, I pull it, it stops when I let go. That's pretty nice. Go up over the branch and I'll descend a little here. See how it feels. All right. Really, um, descends very, very well. It's probably not as fast as a VT. Maybe, maybe more like a canoe. What's really nice about it is it does as you touch it, it moves freely, and then it really moves freely as you go uh, upward when you ascend. So I'm gonna go down the rest of the way, and uh, I'm gonna switch out my cord. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna use a 24 inch cord, and I'm gonna start from the top, wrapping downward. I'm gonna use three wraps, and then I'm gonna use the bottom as a, as a finishing fourth. So on this one, since I'm gonna wrap downward, I'll put my hitch cord behind the rope, and I'll work my way downward. One, two, three. Now I'll bring the top part of my cord down around the rope. I'll bring it over in front of this other piece of cord. I'm gonna bring that cross up a little, and then I'll bring the eye right through that cross, straight across. And then I'm gonna tie dress and set it. You want the legs to be equal. So smooth it out. That's about right. I'll get my pulley. And carabiner, Oops, so connect it, pop it in, move it to the opposite side. Now I'm going to give myself on the rope rest real quick, make sure that it's holding for me, throw my clip in, tend it a little. All right, now I'm going to lean back, it's a little bit off the ground and it's holding. That's what I want. Okay. Now that I have the Cornell hitch tied with my 24 inch cord and three wraps, I'm going to give it a test out. I'll proceed up the tree and then tell you guys what I feel. So, I got to tell you for sure off the bat, I feel more comfortable with a shorter cord. <laughs> And it actually is pretty, it's pretty free moving on the, um, the ascent. It feels a little tight at the first couple, but right now it feels pretty good. It's locking in into place, not running on me. Let's see. So when I set up my, my line, I, I was under a branch, so it, gives me a little more friction it's a little harder to pull but yeah so when I use two fingers lock it it goes pretty nice and now when I'm ascending it's really free moving it's it's actually pretty nice as you can see that cool so what I'm gonna do is I'll do the same walk I'll go up to that branch there walk on it and just see how it moves oops pretty nice see I'm not I'm not worried about um, it sliding on me and even though it's less wrapped, because it's a shorter cord, it uh, it moves pretty good. Oops, slips. Okay. Oops, falling back. This feels like having a handle here. It's pretty nice.
Yeah. So as I'm going back, it still locks into place. Yeah, when I grab it and I pull back in, really smooth. Yeah, that seems a pretty nice knot. I was mentioning, as I mentioned with the other one, it's kind of like a, a canoe in the same way that it moves. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Okay. Any little bit of tugs I do, it recovers by locking. It's pretty nice. All right. All right. Go back over there again. <laughs> There we go. Let's send it back down. Well, so I'm noticing that it's actually tighter on the descent with a shorter cord. Using the 30 inch, it's a little bit more free on the downward descent. But yeah, it's actually a pretty nice knot or hitch. All right, I'm going to proceed down. Here we go. Okay, so pretty good. A little bit tighter than the, the long cord. Like right now, it's kind of seizing up on me a little, but able to work the ground. I'll get to the ground. And then, yeah, well, I'm thinking that my weight, having the extra weight on me, could cinch it up a little bit with a smaller cord. I didn't feel any of that with a big cord. But I think in both ways, having a 30 and a, a 20 inch cord, fewer routes with a 24 and more with a 30, it's a pretty nice knot. Well, there you go, Cornell hitch using a 30 inch cord and a 24 inch cord. I think that for me, I think that the, the longer cord worked better with more wraps. You know, the, I think the four wraps and then the bottom um, was another. I think using it that way, it, it moved more freely. But either way, even the 24 inch cord, even though it was kind of tight on my descent, I, I really liked it and it reminded me a lot of like a canoe. Um, yeah, both ways are good. The only reason I wouldn't like the longer one just because I got short arms and that's just my, my hang up. I, I'd say that was great about it is that even when you were um, like descending and you slip or let go, it locked pretty great on both ways. So you're doing, doing the long one and the short one, it really locked up. There was never a creeping or a fill that I was going to like slip. Liked it. And then on both of them, they actually moved pretty freely on the ascent. Um, the only thing was different was the descent on the shorter cord, but the long cord was real free moving on the descent and even on the ascent. This one just a little bit, the shorter cord was great on the ascent and a little bit tight on the descent. But I, I would say, I, I like this knot, it's a, or hitch, it's a really good hitch. Remember that if you're going to be, you know, learning a new technique, new stuff on tree care, do, do it low and slow. You don't want to get hurt. I hope you enjoyed that video. We're going to have a playlist um, below on climbing hitches and climbing videos. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Share our videos with your friends and make comments. We enjoy hearing all the comments, even if it's uh, sharing your experiences. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.